So I picked another six line ras up from my frag tank and he got, um, not ick, oh, it looks like it's gone already. So on the side of his body, I'm gonna put in a little video that I took earlier today. He had these little worm, they're little white things that were hanging off of him. First I thought it was ick cause it started off like weird looking, but then I was like, it doesn't look like ick. So I pulled him out of my frag tank really quick, like immediately when I saw it. And I treated them with Paragard. Um, it's for external parasites and other stuff. Um, so exto parasites and fungal bacteria and viral lesions. Um, it's worked. I treated them this morning and they're all gone. He had at least six or seven on his body. And look at them. You can still see a mark right there. See the little white dots? Yeah. That was a big, long thing hanging off of him. Now, he's in a little 10-gallon right now with my court jester. It's the only tank I had that I could treat with medication because uh, all my tanks have coral in them. But he's doing good in here. Uh, jester gets along with anybody. He's gotten a lot bigger since I got him. But I just wanted to share, you know, he had these legions on him. Uh, little, they look like little ta white tails fluttering on them. One day I treated them today, this morning, with a cap full is for 10 gallons. This is a 10 gallon tank. I gave a little less than that and they're already off them. So I'll treat again tomorrow. And uh, he looks fine, he's eating and they haven't affected him. Um, yeah, Jester just chased him out because that's Jester's home in there. But, and I had this baby snail up in my 75 gallon and somehow he got in this tank. He's a little white snail and this medication does kill snails, but uh, he's alive. He was just in the back, he's gone now. But anyways, I'm not gonna make this video long. I just wanted to tell you I got another six line to clean my frag tank because I had nudie branch eating zoanthid bugs in it and I had three of them and uh, he he eats stuff like that so um i'd show you my frag tank but i want to wait a little longer because i just disrupted it and everything closed in it these are all spots on the glass so that's not on him but he's looking better after not even 12 hours so the the paragard from Secum is working great um i hated to treat the tank with my other fish in there but i had no choice he's got to get moved to another tank Normally I don't have this big blue rock in here. I added it for the six line so he'd uh, have more rocks because this fish lives under here, but so doesn't the six line now. Um, but he's a pretty nice fish. And of all my fish tanks, this one just sits here and it's growing coralline everywhere. I don't get it. I can't even get that out of my other tanks. Um, I was just running a sheep. I'm running a Kessel now because I had a spare, but. It doesn't blanket the tank very good. I was actually running this light right here. An old fashioned 1980s, no joke, from the 80s, fluorescent light fixture on it. And it grew all that core line with that light fixture. So don't ever think it requires an expensive light. Look at the core line growing all over those shells, all over the glass, see it all? That's all from 35 to 40 par from an old, 1980s light. I started scraping some. That's why the holes in them. I got to get it back off the glass. It just keeps coming back. And I look at the rock. It wasn't on the rock, and now it is. Now with the Kessel light, it doesn't blanket the tank as good. Um, I have it turned up right now, but I keep it at its minimum brightness for these guys because I don't want um, I don't want the tank to uh, grow algae. I had to take out the cleanup crew. But that's all. That's all on this. Otherwise, um, this tank gets one water change a month. But now with both of these in here, I got to do one today. Um, it's It's been a few weeks, I think. But normally it sits at like 5 for nitrates or lower. Phosphate's at like 0.02 with just Jester in there. But I do overfeed him and drop food in for the snails and the crabs. But they're all out right now. But anyways... I thought I'd share this little experience with you. I've never had a fish get this type of um, parasite, but he's looking great. And it's 12 hours in, okay? 
you guys have any questions, please ask. Uh, I'm going to throw a little video in after this or in the middle of this video. Oh, see him, he just went in with uh, the le legions on him there. Um, it's not the best video. I didn't have my filter on, but I'm going to put it in. So hopefully you guys see that at some point during this video. All right, that's it, guys. We'll see you. Take it easy.